Teenage Love, Part 8, Echoes of Distance As winter settled in, so did the reality of Alex and Lily's long-distance relationship. The flurry of college life continued to keep them busy, but they had managed to maintain their connection. They still talked regularly, but the conversations, while warm and familiar, were beginning to feel a bit different, tinged with the subtle weight of the miles between them. Their lives were evolving in ways neither of them could have predicted, and sometimes the distance felt more than just physical. One evening, after a long day of classes, Alex sat on his bed scrolling through his phone. He saw a photo Lily had posted, her with a new group of friends, laughing in a moment of shared joy. He smiled, but there was a pang of something else too. He couldn't be there with her, sharing those moments. He felt proud of her, happy she was finding her place in this new world, but a part of him couldn't help wondering. Was the distance slowly becoming more than just physical? Later that night, they called each other. The familiar sound of Lily's voice brought a smile to Alex's face, but as they spoke, the underlying tension began to surface. I saw your message earlier. I'm glad we could finally talk tonight. It feels like the days are slipping away faster than I can keep track of. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind. Between classes, projects, and everything else, it's hard to find a moment to just breathe. How are you holding up? Honestly, it's been a mix. I'm enjoying college, making new friends, but sometimes I miss how simple things used to be, when we didn't have to try so hard just to stay connected. I know what you mean. Things are great here, too, but it feels like I'm missing a part of my life that used to be right in front of me, us. Do you think we're slowly losing touch, or is this just what happens when distance gets involved? Question. Do you think we're slowly losing touch because of the distance, or is this just part of the process? A. It's part of the process distance makes things feel different, but it doesn't mean we're losing touch. B. Yes, we're losing touch. Distance is making it harder to stay connected. C. It's possible that distance is pulling us apart, but that doesn't mean we can't find a way back. Answer A. It's part of the process. Distance makes things feel different, but it doesn't mean we're losing touch. I think distance changes the way we communicate, and that makes everything feel a little off. But it doesn't mean we're losing touch. We're just learning how to stay connected in a new way. It's harder, but it's not impossible. We just have to keep finding ways to remind each other that we're still in this together. That's true. I guess it's easy to feel disconnected when we're not physically together, but that doesn't mean we're losing what we have. It just feels different now. Exactly. We're not losing each other. We're adapting to this new reality. It's part of the process. The cool winter air pressed against the windows of their dorm rooms the hum of the heating system filling the silence between their words. The distant sounds of campus life faded into the background, leaving only the soft glow of their phone screens connecting them across the miles. I've been thinking about how different everything is now. You're meeting new people, and so am I, and sometimes I wonder, 
Is it okay for us to be building separate lives like this? I mean, we're growing in different directions, but does that mean we're leaving each other behind? That's been on my mind, too. I think it's natural to be living different lives now we're both growing, making new memories without each other. But that doesn't mean we're leaving each other behind, does it? Question. Is it possible to live separate lives and still stay connected, or does that mean we're growing apart? A. We can live separate lives and still stay connected as long as we make the effort. B. No, living separate lives means we're growing apart, even if we don't mean to. C. It depends on how much we prioritize staying in each other's lives. Answer. A. We can live separate lives and still stay connected as long as we make the effort. I think it's possible for us to live our own lives and still stay connected. We're not always going to be part of each other's everyday experiences, but that doesn't mean we're growing apart. We just have to make the effort to stay involved in each other's lives, even from a distance. I agree. We're not going to be in the same place physically, but we can still share our lives with each other. It's about making that time, even when it feels like we're living in two different worlds. Exactly. We're not losing what we have just because we're not in the same place. We just have to keep sharing our worlds with each other. The moon shone brightly through the cold winter night, casting long shadows over the dorm buildings. The wind outside whistled against the windows, but inside, the warmth of their conversation wrapped around them, reminding them of the bond they were working to maintain. Do you ever wonder if we're putting too much pressure on ourselves? I mean... Trying to keep everything the same when our lives are changing so much. Maybe, maybe it's okay for things to change a little. Maybe we don't need to hold on so tightly to what we had before. I've wondered about that too. It's like we're trying to keep everything exactly the way it was, but we're not the same people anymore. Do you think we're holding on too tightly instead of letting things evolve? Question. Are we holding on too tightly to the past, or should we let our relationship evolve with the changes in our lives? A. We should let our relationship evolve change is part of growing. B. No, we need to hold on tightly to what we had if we want to keep it. C. It's a balance we need to let things evolve, but not lose sight of what we had. Answer A. We should let our relationship evolve. Change is part of growing. I think change is part of growing, and we can't expect things to stay exactly the same. It's okay for our relationship to evolve with us. We don't need to hold on so tightly to the past if we're both committed to making this work in the future. Letting go of the old doesn't mean we're losing what we have, it just means we're making space for something new. You're right. We've both changed, and that's okay. Our relationship can change with us. We don't have to hold on to how things used to be if we're both still committed to growing together. Exactly. Letting our relationship evolve doesn't mean we're letting it go. It just means we're making room for the people we're becoming. The night deepened, and the wind outside grew stronger, howling through the streets below. But inside, 
Alex and Lily's conversation brought a sense of calm and clarity. They weren't the same people they had been in high school, and that was okay. What mattered now was that they were still committed to growing together, even as they changed. Their relationship wasn't about staying the same. It was about embracing the evolution of who they were becoming. I feel like we've been holding on to the past because it felt safe, but now I realize that change doesn't mean we're losing anything, we're just moving forward in a new way. Exactly. We're not losing what we had, we're just letting it grow into something else, and I'm ready for that as long as we're doing it together. Me too. Whatever the future looks like, I want us to keep growing together. Then let's embrace the change. We don't have to be the same people we were back then. We just have to keep caring about each other. Under the cold winter sky, Alex and Lily found comfort in the knowledge that change, though challenging, was not something to fear. Together, they were ready to embrace the evolution of their relationship, trusting that even across the distance, they would continue to grow together. Five words related to the theme of teenage love. Part 8. Echoes of Distance Evolution, the gradual development or change in a relationship as both individuals grow. Balance, the act of maintaining stability between past commitments and future growth in a relationship. Adaptation, adjusting to new circumstances, especially when distance and change challenge a relationship. Commitment, the ongoing dedication to maintaining a relationship, even when it requires evolving. Perspective, the way individuals view and interpret the changes in their relationship, especially as they grow.